Well, the good folks at On One Software recently released No Noise AI 2024, which is their update, of course, to their AI based noise reduction software product. And I got to say, wow, in a word, wow. I mean, it is really fantastic, and there's a lot you can do with it. I'm pretty excited about being able to incorporate this into my workflow. And I thought I would show a few examples of this product in action on some photos that are pretty typical for what I would shoot, except in one case, which is an extremely noisy photo, just to show you how good it is. Let me walk you through this. Here's an example photo. This is a night shot, shot at F1.8 ISO 1600. And I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in so you can kind of see the things that have uh, happened to this photo with No Noise AI. Now, it's an updated user interface. It's got a lot of capability. It's got the ability to crop. You can see that up here, you've got a kind of a retouch brush. And of course, in addition to the No Noise AI, as you can see over here in this right-hand menu, you've got Tack Sharp AI. So you can do some sharpening and deblurring as well as the progressive sharpening and of course, of course, the amazing noise reduction that's in the No Noise AI. Now, I won't be going through demos of all of this. I just want to show you how good the noise reduction is. But if you look here at this before and after, this is a low light F1.8 ISO 1600. And if you look at this gentleman here, he's so much crisper. And of course, all the noise, which you can see in the background, if you look at the kind of uh, blurry, kind of splotchy background, it's a lot smoother. And that's what I love about this product, because this is a prime example of the kind of photo that I would take uh, when I'm wa wandering around in a city at night. And of course, these days you can get away with shooting much higher ISOs because of this kind of technology. So I know some people aren't in favor of AI. I'm personally a huge fan when it does things like this, which is give me better quality photos, which is exactly what this will do or if it helps me with like tedious, repetitive, or kind of annoying, or even difficult tasks. In this case, it's kind of repetitive and annoying. It's a little bit tedious, but it's definitely a quality improvement in the photo. So I'm very excited about that. And again, the capabilities and the power here are really impressive. I wanna show you a couple of more examples. Okay, here's another example, and this is a night nice sky. And in fact, on uh, upon release of this product, they talked about how this has been optimized for like astrophotography and wildlife. And those aren't two things that I shoot a lot of. I've done a little bit, but this is a good example of a night sky massive improvement in the photo. If you take a look, this is ISO 3200 uh, F4.5. And so, uh, and the horizon's crooked. So this is not, hey, look at my photo. I just want you to look at the results. Uh, there's a lot of work that this photo needs, which is probably why it's never been published. It's not particularly good, but I do want to point out how good the noise reduction is. If you look at that right-hand side, I mean, that sky is beautifully and blissfully clear. And on the left-hand side, you can see how much noise there is. Let me move over here where there's a little bit more cloud and stars and give you a look at that as well. Now, every time you move and make adjustments, of course, it's going to recalculate. Now, they've indicated in their release that it's a much faster performance. And I will say, personally, it's a little bit speedier for me. But in fairness, I'm using a MacBook Pro that's about four years old. It's an Intel-based Mac. It's in dire need of replacement with an uh, Apple Silicon M3 chip, which I hope to do here, hopefully in the not-too-distant future. But the point is, uh, you can see here, I mean, these stars look incredibly sharp and the noise is blissfully gone. So that's an example of how uh, the kind of great results you can get in lower light, uh, sort of astro, not entirely astro because it wasn't that late and it's not like a Milky Way shot. But regardless, you can see an ISO 3200 and that noise is gone. And the things that I want to be clear and crisp, like the stars in this image, honestly look pin sharp and look fantastic. Now, one of the other cool things about no noise AI is that is a it is a layer based editor so that gives you the flexibility to add this photo on top of the original photo in other words you can use this photo effectively twice and stacking it and the reason you might want to do that is if you want to apply different levels of noise reduction to different parts of the image perhaps you want a lower level of noise reduction in the ground and a higher level of noise reduction in the sky, the ability to use layers and do that and apply noise reduction selectively is very important for that. So it's another really cool feature about No Noise AI. And now I wanna get an extreme 
extreme noise photo and show you how that looks. Okay, and here is a, an extremely noisy photo. This is ISO 51200. Now, to be fair, I would never, ever shoot at that. Well, I guess you shouldn't say never, but I would almost never shoot at that ISO. And in fact, I did this in daylight in my office, so you can see it's a bright scene. There's absolutely no need for me to do that other than just to create a photo with a ton of noise in it. But if you look at the before and after, you can see on that left-hand side, massive amounts of noise, even in good light, uh, because of that high ISO. And if you look at this result, I mean, it just looks absolutely beautiful. And again, this was shot really wide open and at massive amounts of noise, but it is incredibly, and I would say blissfully smooth. And that's why I said this AI stuff is so useful because it allows you to do things that you couldn't really do in the past and frankly get away with things in capturing the photo that you couldn't really get away with in the past. Now using this product, it does operate as a standalone, which is what I'm using here, but it also works as a plugin to Lightroom and a lot of other popular editors. You can save as a DNG, you can batch process, and in addition to saving as a DNG, you can also save in other popular file formats. I would say overall, I mean, this is just a quick look at the product and the results, which is I think what most people care about. Uh, it is included in your On One Everything subscription. Uh, it's a standalone or a plugin, as I said, and my assumption is, as they've done in the past, it'll probably be incorporated into On One Photo Raw, maybe mid-year or so. I don't know for sure, but that's, I believe, what they've done in the past. So if you're a Photo Raw user and you use that as your primary home base, if you will, this is likely going to be incorporated a little bit later in the year. But again, if you look at the results, just absolutely fabulous. Tack Sharp, keep in mind, you've got that over here, which is going to help with the de-blur. And so even if you shoot in those wide open apertures, like that first night shot I showed you of the musicians, I could use Tack Sharp to help de-blur some of that in combination with No Noise AI. And you just do that here on this tab where it says both. You can go in and use both and just make adjustments. But bottom line, massive, powerful, amazing, frankly, kind of mind-blowing noise reduction. I'm super happy about that. Hope that gives you a good idea of how this would work for you in your workflow. Congrats on one. Fantastic product. Great release. If you have any questions about it, leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer. And of course, there is an affiliate link below if you'd like to pick up this product. And uh, thanks for watching, my friends. I'll be back with more on one video soon. You guys take care. And until next time, adios.